what's going on everybody? So a little while back I made a video on my favorite camera and why we need one remade for 2020, the W3 by Fuji 3D camera. And um, a subscriber had a question, wanted to know, um, they were actually asking about the Sony bloggy camera and if there was a way to put it on YouTube so that it could be shown in 3D. Originally when the 3D cameras uh, started coming out 2010-2011, YouTube had a different um, way of doing things. There was actually a encoding that came into YouTube from the actual film of the camera that allowed for it to be displayed in 3D. And that was in um, the old Adobe um, software that YouTube used to use. And now that YouTube is using HTML5, I believe, it no longer works. But there is a way to get the metadata back into your movie file so that when you take a, in this case from a Sony bloggy, a 3D side-by-side -side movie clip, you can inject the metadata and YouTube will actually automatically play it in 3D. So if you're on a normal browser, it's going to be Anaglyph. And if you are on uh, virtual reality, Oculus or, or um, HTC or anything that can play the YouTube VR app, it's going to play back in 3D. So it's uh, a little bit of a pain because you got to go through a step, but uh, you'll be able to, not just for the blocky film, but any side-by-side -side information or any side-by-side -side stock film that you have or whatever films you create, if you create them side-by-side, -side, you can put this metadata in and you will be seeing it in 3D. So the first and most important thing that you need to do is you need to go and download Handbrake program and... Um, Pause the, pause the video, go download Handbrake if you haven't yet. And we're gonna go ahead and open it up. And I know there were other ways to do this, um, FFMPG I believe, but I think that that got wonky. And I know that this still works because I just did it a little while ago. So what you do is you open up the Handbrake program here and you go to open source. And what that's gonna do is pull in whatever um, file that you're going to want to convert in Handbrake. So Handbrake is a very, it's not a very advanced tool, but it's a tool to go ahead and do a lot of stuff to different types of, uh, to different file types. Um, most of them are way beyond my pay grade with what it can do. I only use it for this one purpose, which is to uh, put the metadata back into these uh, videos. So what you do is you, you go ahead and you load it up and you see here that I have a side-by-side -side video. You know, these two images like this will play in 3D after the information's put in. There's a lot you can do on here, but I'm not going to do anything. I'm just gonna show you what the windows look like. You can change your dimensions, um, do stuff with all of There's a lot of letter D's here. Look at that. <laughs> but I'm going to this fourth tab, the video tab. So when you're in the video tab, and by the way, all of these I just keep exactly as they are, including the preset fast 1080p uh, 30 frames per second. I'm using generally equipment that's not very much advanced beyond this. You can choose from a lot of different um, ways to import your video if you're using better, better equipment. Um, there's tons of different things that you can um, export to a lot of different formats. But again, just to put the metadata in, this is what you do. You get to the fourth tab and right over here where it says additional options, you type in exactly the word frame, hyphen, not underscore, packing equals three, okay? That's what you do. Now, what that's going to do is 
put this information into the data of your MP4, or whatever you're going to upload into YouTube. And we're going to do that right now. And I'm actually going to upload this video to YouTube so you can see it. I'm gonna leave a link to the video here in the um, comments to this video. And the most important thing that you need to keep in mind is all of the encoding is happening on the back end. It's happening inside of YouTube or in the back end of YouTube. So don't get discouraged if you try this and you're not able to see it uh, the first two, three, 400 times you click it. Probably in about 30 to 45 minutes, you will see a 3D rendering of your side by side. Um, just to, to talk a little bit about different ways that you can see side by side and, and or 3D and how they come out. If it's side by side and it, you know, it looks like this, this can be played on an Oculus or an HTC VR. And I don't know too much about HTC, but you can play this on Oculus VR if you in its raw form you don't have to put the metadata in so if you have a video like this or you see a video like this on youtube or you search for uh, sbs and you see something like this if you go into your firefox browser okay you have to download the firefox browser and you make it full screen you're going to have the option to choose how you want this to be seen. You will not see the options unless you make the video itself full screen and then you'll see the options. So if you're on the Firefox browser, you can just look at this in its normal state and hit 3D SBS and it will play in 3D. Okay. Now, if you are in the YouTube VR app and you press this all right, and you, you open up something like this, it's still going to look like this, two pictures next to each other. Okay, the YouTube VR app as of November 17th, 2020, will not on the fly allow you to watch a, a film like this in 3D. But the YouTube VR app, when you do put the metadata in, will automatically show it as 3D. And when you put the metadata in again, which is frame dash packing equals three. If you were to watch that on a normal browser, then it's going to come out anaglyph. So you can put on your red and cyan glasses and be able to see it in 3D when you convert it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the conversion. I'm gonna move myself out of the way real quick. And you're going to see that when it's working, you just you just went ahead and did play and it's converting down here. In just a couple more seconds. And again, like I said, I'm going to upload this in the comments on this video and you can see it in any of the uh, ways that we described. OK, so uh, I hope this helps the one random person out in YouTube land who is interested in watching their side-by-side -side films or any side-by-side -side films um, or and encoding them in 3D. All right. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or uh, any ways that you've done this in, in different ways, please leave a comment. Um, please like and subscribe the channel. I uh, like to do a lot of variety of stuff, but um, you know, there's something for everybody. And uh, be wonderful to each other. Talk to you soon.